Well, hello again, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, cardboard crawlers of all nations. We are, per usual, in the outdoor amphitheater. But look at those new wheels on that FMS LC80. How do you like it now? I know you liked it before. It's one of my most popular rigs, according to views. And these are some of my favorite wheels. The Maz Designs Double Stars. These are the version 2 in purple. Looking sweet, sweet, sweet on that yellow LC80. Let me know. I'm not really a Lakers fan per se, but I'd say those are the Lakers colors. I threw those together. I was running one on there with a bronze set of wheels to, to round out the, the foursome. And uh, I decided that that was the color. The, the purple was the color I wanted to go with on the LC80. Uh, don't be fooled by the gates here. We are not out running gates. I just happened to drive the truck this direction. Uh, and I think we make it clean. I think I do another couple gates here too, but it's just because they're sitting on the course and it's on some sections that I like to drive. And uh, so here we are and there you have it. Uh, remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm putting out new content. According to Analytics, 98% of my viewers are new viewers, not returning viewers. So remember guys, I put out videos all the time. Come on and watch them. But yeah, having a pretty good last few days here in uh, Southern Pines, North Carolina. It is gall darn beautiful out there. It was about 72 degrees outside today. Sun shining, blue skies. Couldn't ask for a nicer day. And so I uh, had a little bit of time this afternoon. Uh, because that is my currency lately, time. And I had been meaning to throw these wheels together on this rig, and so I did. I, I literally, when I put this together, once I came inside, I realized that the right front tire still has a stock foam in it. And I had put pine trees in all three of the other tires because the right front was one that had already been on a truck for a while and I just uh, to put put it all together quickly instead of taking the bronze ones apart I had a set of these tires you can see that those three are real sticky picking up sand and uh, so I I put the three together and forgot to take the one apart and put a pine tree in it but once I came inside, I've made that adjustment now, and all four of these wheels are running pine trees and running them quite well. Uh, not necessarily designed for these wheels, but they seem to work pretty good, and I, I'm going to run them like this and, and see how they go for a while. Uh, maybe... You know, maybe someone out there with a 3D printer is gonna can print something uh, of a different size, and uh, we'll see how she goes. But uh, loving the LC80, per usual, she is a great running rig, and I'm putting her in some spots right here, right now. Let me tell you, that is just a nice little V crack. You normally come into it with your passenger side down in, and I just happen to get over there this way, and I'm about to rip a mirror off and somehow I wiggle wiggle jiggle jiggle because my money don't fold you know what I'm saying and here we go and she dropped right in and, and did really well right there I was surprised I thought for sure I wasn't going to make that line and I did so um, yeah was just talking to Corey over at GNCRC having a good positive conversation talking some rc related business and you know just doing the dang thing oh, oh my goodness blue dog got himself a bath today a bath and a blowout i recently purchased a new uh dog dryer it's kind of like the one that the that the groomers have or at least the self groomers I, you know i got a really good deal on it black friday style 
I, I, I went to get my dog groomed and they were trying to charge me some outrageous prices. And I thought to myself, well, the price they're charging me plus the tip, let me look, you know, because usually you tip those ladies. Kind of like your hairstylist or, a, you know, a waitress. Um, and I looked, it was Black Friday time or one day before or one day after-ish, you know, and they still have those deals on online. And for 62 bucks, I got a real fancy dog dryer with a heat mechanism in it and a, a rheostat adjustable dry function and I'm really super stoked on it. It worked really good. Uh, I need to get a hot water hookup so I can have warm water when I bathe him because man, he got the shakes and he was not happy. But we got him dried off real quick. I had some towels sitting in the dryer warming up for him and uh, Old Blue Dog got himself a real good bath today and a blowout and a brush out. And looking happy, feeling good. I'm going to edit up this video and he just ate his dinner and we're gonna go for a little evening walk it's dark outside now and uh, we'll go visit old jimmy next door and and uh, see how we go and uh, have a good one once again we're coming through gate eight that famous gate eight over there on the cardboard crawlers outdoor amphitheater rock crawling course and uh the other day when i was running i can't remember which rig i was oh the the ruby the rubicon was running through here and i had to turn right and come downhill off of that gate eight that left line right there is exactly what i was talking about gate nine fell in between the cracks i was out here with the blower a day or two ago and then fell in the cracks so uh I'm actually gonna clear all the gates and um put them away for now and i i need to call um reaction and order some of the upright standards uh, i like that style of gate it really they i was really impressed with them with, when i was at the gauntlet like these are great they're fun you know you set them up for the kids and they're great they're literally at hobby lobby i got some wooden half rounds you get like 20 for two bucks or something like that maybe three dollars took some safety orange uh, paint and painted them and number them with a sharpie and some of them uh, I think I numbered one through ten and I had done doubles but then I repainted some of those and I put arrows on them so one gate is an, a directional marker and one gate is a numbered marker and that's just how I did it but beautiful day I like how thinned out the trees look right now getting some pretty light coming through um, I'm able to work on the side yard and make it a little cleaner. I need to go across the street and work on Mr. Alfred's side yard between him and Jimmy. Work on Jimmy's side yard and work on Mr. Alfred's side yard. Um, just to clean it up a little bit here in North Carolina, we get that kudzu vine and some other vines that just go crazy on us. And uh, it's really, really a bummer it gets out of hand on people and if you don't just get in there and cut it and get rid of it it's starting to kill one of the big trees over there it's going to strangle it so i want to get rid of that for them and uh, clean it up a little bit make it more park like like my little side yard is here and uh anyway we're getting to the end of this video and you know i i say it time and again i really appreciate each and every one of you watching so thanks for joining i hope you have a great day Appreciate you. Cardboard Crawlers, out.